Also from the falls, do you remember this video? We shared it with you last year. Billy is the man seen here being harassed and hit outside a supermarket. Tonight, the man police believe harassed Billy is finally behind bars, and they didn't have to go far to find him. Mike Juan Pringle posted this message on Facebook earlier today, saying he was turning himself in. And he did. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Alzafon was in court as Pringle faced a judge. After more than a week on the run, Mike Juan Pringle pleaded not guilty to charges stemming from this video, which police say shows Pringle slapping Billy, a special needs man who lives in Niagara Falls. Police had strong words for Pringle. I describe him as a punk. I mean, that really, I can't think of a better word to describe him. On top of endangering the welfare of an incompetent person, he's also been charged with resisting arrest and obstructing governmental administration. Police say when detectives went to arrest Pringle, he took off out a back window. The judge described him as a flight risk. Police say he has also been charged in two other domestic violence cases. You know, his target is... Uh as those that are weaker than him. Police believe Pringle may have harassed Billy before, and he's not the only one. But since this video went viral, the community has grown more protective and accepting of Billy. Uh, people have seen him down on Pine Avenue here in Niagara Falls, and they beeped at him, and they pulled over, and they bought him lunch. Billy's friend, Jim Fernandez, hopes others can learn from Billy's ordeal. Billy's not the only one in the area that gets bullied. Uh, not only does this happen uh, to younger kids uh, growing up, up, but it happens to older individuals too and hopefully it sheds a little light on you know stopping the bullying part of our society. Police say they had hoped a plea deal would be worked out today. That didn't happen. In fact, Pringle will be back in court in February and police say that they hope he gets prison time. In Niagara Falls, Rachel Alzafon 7 Eyewitness News.